All right, what's up, YouTubers? I'm here today with the Volkswagen, and I'm tired of being told how to live my life with the seatbelt light. With the seatbelt chime, seatbelt light. So when I drive, I get the beeping sound. Now, granted, it is important to wear your seatbelts. Uh, make sure to abide by your local, state, and municipal laws, policies, whatever it is when operating a vehicle on public roadway. So I'm doing this for my own car on my own private road. So what I'm gonna do is see how I can modify this seatbelt indicator and seatbelt chime so that it doesn't bother me when I drive. All right, I'm gonna load up my computer. I'm gonna take my trusted connector. I'm gonna plug one end into the computer, another end down here to the bottom left. You can check out my other video, OBD connector, right there to the purple connector down below, and I'm gonna be right back. All right, so next step, I turn the ignition to position two, which is car off, and almost started, one before the start. Then I plugged in my OBD connector down there. As you can see, I have a green light. And I'm gonna load the software on my laptop and I will be there to show you where it is. You're gonna be trailing along in the settings. All right, so let's get into it. What do we got? All right, we're gonna dismiss this and continue on. What you wanna do is select control module. You wanna be able to control, communicate with your control modules. Next thing you're gonna do so you can communicate with folder 17, which is the instruments cluster. Are right, you gonna let that load up? Now the best practice is to do a long auto scan. Make sure you know what you're doing before you start doing this. This is just my story, so you can watch my story. All right, next thing I'm doing is I'm going into coding, and then I'm going into long coding helper click that all right so I get a box down here and this is the long coding helper and what I'm going to do is uh, as I can find my mouse all right I'm going to take my mouse cursor and go over this one all right and that is actually let's check this field as you can see all right, and there is seatbelt warning activated, installed. And I'm gonna disable that. All right. And then I will go back once I clicked off of that. So that was the second bit. Third bit, actually. Seatbelt warning activated. We're gonna disable that. And then we will exit up top. We're gonna go ahead and go to do it. Coding accepted. All right, we're gonna close the controller. All right. And now what we're gonna do, as you can see, I don't have my seatbelt plugged in. Nothing there. Start the car. No seatbelt warning, no chime, nothing to bug me. All right, like and subscribe if you liked my experience. Hopefully share yours. Let me know what you do with yours and how it all worked out. Now if I wanna go back and change it, I'm gonna turn off the car, make sure to always have the car off. I'm gonna put it on ignition two. So I'm gonna continue on my story. All right, and I'm gonna go back in, go to instruments. I'm gonna access the instruments once again. I'm gonna go into coding, long coding helper. I get a box down here. I take my cursor. I scroll over the 08 right in that box I press it click it there add the check mark to seatbelt warning 
active, installed. I click exit up top. Bring my cursor over here to do it. Saves, coding complete, okay. I close this controller. I come back over here. Looks like I got the seatbelt light back there. All right, start the ignition up. And as you can see, the seatbelt light is back on. No seatbelt plugged in. All right, guys, share your experience, like, and subscribe. See you on the next one.